Okay, this is the optical limit switch guide I'm making. If you get a switch like this out of a printer, mine's a HP LaserJet, you'll see looking down you've got three pins. This is number one, two, and three. And then you can go to the site for uh, RepRap and get the electronics for this. Um, the website is here. It's their Generation 7 Electronics Opto End Stop. And you'll see that they have over here is your optical switch. And then you've got two re three resistors and an LED. And then there's your um, three pins on the the switch and and then those kind of correspond to your three pins here but these two are connected to one which is the ground so you've got the ground and then you got your five volts into here and then your signal which is probably five volts from your computer to here <coughs> so I went and got the, the appropriate resistors there on the schematic if you want. There's 181K, 2200, and I put them in a little board like this, a little prototype board. And then I ran from my controller here, the little 9-pin connector, I identified the pins in my software. And then ran those pins, and so it goes like you got some power here going in. Red is your five volts, and then that goes down this bar, and then it goes across that resistor, which is the one k resistor, and then out of there you got one going to your LED to your pin. Here, here's my setup. So you got the 5 volts to the 1K to the pin 1, which would be pin 1 over right there, the first one on the left. And then you've also got another one coming off of there, which goes to your, your signal. So you can see there's a, a little black wire there. coming off the same so this this whole line is connected there and then the LED jumps over and you can see you know you're going out to the signal you're going out to your sensor going over your LED and then a 2.2 K resistor over on the far side there which is going to ground and then this is this is two sensors hooked up here. And then you've also got one more wire, this uh orange one here. So you've got this one grounded, this blue one is going to your number two pin, which is uh in the middle here on this guy. And then you've got number three pin going to this guy here, this little 180 ohm resistor with this orange wire. Kind of looks like it's on a different, but it's on the same same thing. So it goes power resistor wire, which is here. So the plus five volts to the resistor to pin three, and that pin three is on the right there. And that's it. And then you repeat that. And then once you get, you know. These different opto sensors have different power on stuff, so I had to use different resistors here. I changed this out. This is 2.2k, and this is 1k. When the, and they're two different sensors from different parts of the board. I don't know if it's because the LEDs are a little different or the uh, opto 
sensors are different, but I had to change one resistor because this light was coming on and tripping the pin signal before it was tripped. So I put a larger resistance in, which gave less current to the opto sensor and allowed it to operate normally. So you may have you may have to play with these resistance values depending on your opto sensor and your LEDs. But that's what I, that's what works for me.